Hi, we're going to use old candy canes left over from Christmas. You've got some, don't you? Well, I did. I turned them into beautiful little lace arts for Valentine's Day. Join us. Hi, this is Tweek. Valentine's Day is coming, so I've got a sweet little idea to take some leftover candy canes from Christmas and make beautiful little hearts with them. But not just any hearts, we're gonna make them into lace hearts. And here's what we do. The supplies you'll need for this project are some lace, I've used two kinds of lace, wedding lace it's called, some hot glue, some decorative beads, a decorative string to hang with, some candy canes, and that is about it. So let's get to it. I'm taking my lace. Now I got this lace offline, and it came in 10 yards, which is way more than I needed. But I ordered it thinking that the whole idea here is to take lace that has, has an eyelet or a little edge where I could weave the candy cane in and out, but those are just way too small for the candy cane to get through. So I came up with another idea, took another lace called wedding lace. Now this is a little bit bigger in the hole, but still not enough space for me to weave through. So I'm gonna take these two laces that I found that each have the little holes or the eyelets, and I'm gonna stitch them together with my crochet hook. Now to make the frill that I like on my candy cane hearts, I go with about 20 inches of lace but if you don't have that much, you could make less frill on the candy cane, and I'll show you that when I get this stitched together. What I'm going to do right now is go all the way with the remainder length that I have here. So I'm gonna go that far, and then I'll frill up my candy cane later with using what I've got here. So what I'm gonna do is buddy up these two pieces. There's no right or wrong side to this, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and match up the two edges. The holes don't match up exactly, but I just work with it as I go. And once we get them strung on the cane, you'll never see that there's any kind of gap at all. So take my crochet hook. Got some white yarn here. This is just regular old three ounces of Karen or yarn. White with a little bit of sparkle in it. I like that. And I'm just gonna go to the nearest hole that's not cut <laughs> and pull the yarn through and just make a quick little knot. And we got them together. Okay, I'm not gonna keep that knot or hide it. I'm just gonna do a very simple stitch. Go in, pull the yarn through, get out of there little end and pull it through. Very, very simple little slip stitch. So I'm gonna come to the next hole. Like I said, sometimes they'll line right up, sometimes they won't, and I just work it out as I go. I want these, these two pieces to stay together so that I can get them laced up onto the candy cane. All right, this is actually the longest part of this project is stitching the two laces together. If you're fortunate enough to find lace, wedding lace, that has a nicer eyelet on the edge of it, then it's really simple just to bring the candy cane through. This one, I had to tweak it. I had to make two, but I think the outcome is quite lovely. So here I go, all the way down. few more stitches here and I will have exhausted my supply of the wedding lace the polyester but I have lots left of the other but we're going to stop here in just a few more stitches so I can get another one or two okay, I've reached the end of the wedding lace 
right there, one more. I'm going to cut the lace and I'm going to cut the yarn. Yarn first. And just make a simple knot, pull it through. Hold it tight. And here, I'm going to catch the edge of that scallop. It's nice that neither of these fray, which is nice to use. So I've got all this left over for another project. Here we go here. And with the yarn. Here's what we've got. These laces look beautiful together. Next thing I need to do is work a space for the candy cane to thread through. And the design in this lace, I'm going to snip the edge right in the center there in each little space all the way down. I'm gonna snip right there. What I'm doing is I'm opening up that hole so I can then slip my candy cane through. See? So, all the way down we go to make space for the cane, making very sure that I don't cut any more than those two little strands on the lace in each little space. Done. Our lace is ready. What I'm doing here is I'm just looking it over, making sure it's all hooked up properly. It's not going to come apart. And this is the right side. You see, here's the seam I made with the yarn on the back side. That'll be in the back of the cane. So let's see, let's talk candy canes. I had a box of candy canes kicking around. These are the six inch candy canes. And they all came pre-wrapped. So what I like to do is take the wrapping off. It is shiny, but it also has writing on it. And also, if you look at the candy canes, they come in different degrees of the size of their stripe and the color. So I matched up, I think it was these two right here, that to me had the same width stripe. You don't have to do that, but that's just me. So I'm gonna take my little teeny scissors again and very gently just go up the size of the cane and get the plastic off. I'm just running this up. These break pretty easily, so I'm trying to be careful. You may hear snow plows occasionally while I'm working on this project. So we're getting some snow today here in Michigan. Lake effect snow is piling up out there, but we're in here playing with lace and candy canes. I'd rather be in here. <laughs> okay, got my two candy canes. Now what I'm gonna do, the whole idea is to weave the lace onto the cane. So you're gonna have two canes like that. And I'm gonna start with one end. Let me pull that uh, yarn off of there, just give it a snip on both ends so it's not gonna be bothering me. Okay, now we'll start and simply push the cane in and back, back and forth, back. And this cane has a little bit of a bump on the bottom so it's kind of catching. And this is when you decide how many frills, how lacy do you want your cane to be. If you've kept them all tight, you'd need more lace, of course. And that's pretty much going by about 20 inches of lace is what I was using to frill up one of my hearts. That's so what I do is bring this to the edge and then just kind of start counting. Look to see how much do you want on there. Do you want less? So you stretch it out, you get less of a frill or do you want more of a frill? And I wanted a little more. I wanted a little bit of a pucker going along here. Make it a little fancier. So when I decide that's what I want, I'm going to String one more on there. Okay, then I'm going to count. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten frills that space out on this cane that I like the looks of. You still get some of the candy cane showing through. So, what I'm going to do is come off the other side with the other cane going this way. So, I'm not going to cut anything in the center. I'm just going to bunch that up once I get going here. Hold on. So, let me count again to make sure, because I want to try to keep them even. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I'm working from each end with the cane. As you can see here, I'm just going to string it through. We're almost to the end. Okay, now the two canes are going to meet. This is when you start playing. Then I want that 
to the back, that seam, and I'm gonna pull it up on the cane. I feel like there's more on this side than this side here right now. So let's count. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh boy. How did I miscount that? I'm gonna just pull this one in once and then we'll be all evened up. Now, I'm gonna take some glue. I'm gonna very gently start by tucking these two canes together, just a drop or two of hot glue, because I'm gonna to have to manipulate this to get it together, but it works out. And then I'm gonna use the fabric around it to fold it in. I'm just gonna put just a little bit of glue. I don't want it to run all over, so I'm just gonna to try to get these two to attach. Sit on that cane. It doesn't melt it, the candy, which is pretty surprising. Not odd enough, I guess. And I'm going to do the same up here. Not as concerned about the lace right now as I am about trying to get the, the canes to stick together. That just means a little bit of glue. And I'm going to reinforce it with more lace, too, so to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Let that dry. Just touch it. I'm trying to smear it into the candy a little bit. Okay, so now I've got the lace sticking up like I want to. This turned out very nicely on the bottom like that, but I want to reinforce it a little bit. This here too. So I'm going to take some more of this extra that I had. And see how it's a little scalloped pieces? I'm going to cut out some scallop pieces to add to that to help hide that gluey spot. So let me start out with, I'm shaping it to take advantage of the scalloped shape. What I'm basically doing is working with the lace to make it look nice. Okay, I'm just touching the glue to the lace to see I'm just perking it up a little bit, folding it in on itself a little bit, like you would a real fancy curtain. And then I'm just gonna work it into this spot right here. Now there's gonna be another piece there too. So I'm not too worried about, I just want the effect of the lace to cover up that middle where the two canes meet. So here comes some more glue. This also helps to reinforce the cane. It's not gonna go anywhere once all the lace is glued to it. Okay. I'm just gonna set it there and gently touch. I'm just kind of forming a little crease there. Almost done, but isn't that pretty? Okay, yep, that feels more solid. Back here, just to make that look a little better, I'm gonna add another piece of scallop there. Just taking advantage of the way the lace is already scalloped. I'm using the shape, see? I'm just gonna place it there. I'm also going to put the hanger there too. And the hanger is just some glitter string that I found that I really liked. I thought complemented these hearts so pretty. So I've got a spot here to glue. I want to keep the canes together. And I'm gonna lay this very delicate string in there. It's strong though, it's tinsely string but strong. I just lay it there. Just touch because I don't want to get burned. That will be our hanger. And put a little more glue and then I'll put this little back that I put. See how that's going to look? So we'll put a little more glue all around here. So collectively the glue, the tinsel string, the cane, the lace, they'll all bind and it'll be a nice strong hanger. And it looks pretty. I'm going to let that sit for just a second so it uh, firms up. We're almost done. Because as pretty as these are, let me show you how simple and how pretty. Isn't that pretty? I wanted one thing more. I wanted a little more bling. <laughs> Always go for the bling. I found some beads, and they happen to be little red heart beads. So I'm just going to put one little heart bead in the very center. Lay the bead there. You could decorate more if you wanted. You could use different colors of lace. 
And there you have it. Isn't that pretty? What can you do with leftover candy canes and a little bit of lace? You can tell somebody that you love. You're thinking about them in a very sweet way. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring that bell so you see our upcoming episodes. Until then, happy Valentine's Day. See you again.